Your chloride strips are in this bottle here. We want to keep this out of the sun. So make sure you take your strip out and then you close it right away. Go ahead and grab one with dry hands. It's a little tricky. All right. Now, a lot of test strips take not very long. This test strip takes a lot longer to um, develop than a lot of other types of test strips. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the water. You need to be very patient with this test and you need to wait until the top, uh, right at the top line turns black. And you'll see a picture of this in your field guide for a reference. Um, but it does take a couple minutes. So uh, set your timer for a couple minutes, hold on to it. So as you can see here, our reading is 2.5 and we have our chart. You can see that your reading translates to a reading in parts per million. So you're gonna round it to the closest area. So here we see it's 2.6, which equals 73 parts per million. To interpret your results, check out your guide. Um, and you really want to know the difference between uh, a reference point and uh, your um, area of interest. So again, a lot of people with, with road salt monitoring are looking before and after a road. You may have noticed that that took a lot longer than you expected. So please be patient to make sure that you get your full reading. When you're done with your strip, we have a little container that you can uh, use and then dispose of when you get home. That's it. Make sure you leave your place as good as when you did it. One path in, one path out to your spot to not disturb anything. If you have any questions at all, we're always here to help. So enjoy testing and be safe.